guys! <clears throat> it's Bumblebee Love and I'm here with Tova and Sally. And today I am going to do BJD Attic Prompts number two because I think I kind of did number one in my uh, one of my previous videos, kind of my introduction video. So yeah. Um. So the first question is. I don't know. Afraid someone will steal your dolls. Mm -hmm. And no, I'm not afraid of that. Because uh, I mean, I don't really go to BJD meetups that often. And if I do, it's, it's usually 10 people, maybe less, like 5 to 10 people meeting up. And it's such a small community, so. in Denmark. So everyone kind of knows each other, and I. I don't believe anyone will actually steal my dolls and if anyone should ever break into my apartment and I think the last thing they would take would be my dolls so and I just can't believe anyone would do it so yeah I, I'm not afraid of that at all um, <clears throat> afraid to take your dolls outside or oh, out um, well if I take my dolls out, it is to take pictures of them and then I will just wrap them in the bag or something and take them wherever I want to take the pictures and set them up and made it, make a little setting, something, whatever you call it. And if people should walk by, I'll usually just smile at them and if they ask me something, I'll of course answer that. But it's not like I... I tell everybody that I have these dolls. I mean, I think one or two people in my class actually know about them. Um, and otherwise, it's just something, it's it's my own little thing. I don't usually share it with the world. It's not like the first thing that I'm telling people, so... Nah, it's not that I'm afraid of showing it, it's just that I don't necessarily do it, so... Yeah. <clears throat> and the next one is face-ups. Am I afraid of doing face-ups? No. I think it's actually pretty funny. Uh, I have a good time when I do face-ups. It does take a long time and it really sucks if you mess something up at the end. But it's not like I'm afraid of it. <clears throat> um, I am very protective of my face-up though. If oops, <laughs> if uh, if I show my dolls to people and such, the first thing I'll say is please don't touch their face. That's like the worst thing they could ever do because I'm really afraid that it would break. So that is actually a fear. Yes, uh, very. Yeah, I like my dolls face up, and I really want to keep them. Um, damaging the dolls. Well, um. If it's like small parts, I mean like fingers, I can probably easily kind of replace a hand or maybe glue it on. And as long as it's not the face, again, the face, I, to me the face is what gives the doll characters, character and it is kind of the most important part. Um, so that would be the only thing I would be very sad if it breaks because the rest is kind of replaceable. Uh, but as soon as a face has a face up, it is unique and and hard to redo. So, as far as fingers or or the parts breaking off, I think it's okay. I mean, it's I don't think that happens very often. But if like this, um, oh, she has a hair right here. Her leg break in two, like her tie, thigh by her thighs <laughs> or break into I mean I could glue them together and she would probably wear pants or a skirt and no one would be able to see it uh, or I could yeah something like that so that's not really and I don't think that will happen I've never heard of anyone having a whole leg breaking into but so that's not really a fear unless it's the face again and restringing your dolls? No, that's not a fear. I mean, if they come apart, you can. It's not like they're broken or anything or to totally ruined if they come apart. I mean, you can 
put them back together again and if you can't you can get someone else to do it I'm probably pretty sure um, so yeah I do I'm not good at restringing I always do it wrong and um, no not her but Teddy my you know LB I tried to restring him I think a few weeks ago because he was very loose but now he's just too tightly strung and he can't do anything so I'm just basically really bad at it <laughs> I need to practice that a little more and maybe he needs a new elastic that could be it also so uh, yeah I think that's it but um, so yeah my biggest fear in the hobbies is their faces that anything should happen to their faces and yellowing I hate yellowing I know some people say that it give the, gives the doll character and they like it or something like that but I really don't like it I think it it takes away it ruins the character because um, I ordered a doll in this color I ordered a doll in normal, normal skin and I don't want it to be yellow <laughs> when I want a normal skin doll because I like my dolls to look realistic and well it's it's a doll it probably won't look totally realistic uh, unless it's an Eiffel House doll that dolls are so pretty and so realistic like I'm I'm so amazed every time I see pictures of them <laughs> anyway I don't want their color to change I keep them in the boxes because I want to slow down the process as much as possible and um, yeah, I actually once had a doll in white skin and I don't know if anything was wrong with this raisin because it just turned green like a pale uh, light green. It was horrible. Uh, it was the fingers, the, the thin parts of the raisin started, or uh, was the first, first part that turned green and its nose turned green. It looked so weird. I had this perfectly fine doll but it's, it hasn't it had a green nose and green fingers it was horrible I really hated it <laughs> so um yeah um so yeah I, I don't like yellowing and I I feel that yes and I fear about face ups so oh and actually Sally here she's pretty yellow but I'm not selling her because I love her face so much and the face up artist who made it doesn't make um doesn't make any face-ups anymore. I think she got sick and she just stopped contacting people or something. Um, so that really sucks. So I won't be able to get a face-up like this again, I think. And the worst part is that right around her nose here, um, the, the MSC is kind of um, cracking. It has cracks in it, just under the nose and right here. And yeah, it's it's horrible because I'm really afraid it will kind of flake off so I'm, a, I'm pretty worried about that uh, cause, and I'm sure it does someday maybe not right now and it's not visible in photograph unless you really focus focus your camera on it you might be able to see it um, it's more visible in person actually so but when it flakes off I think I'll have a doll with a perfectly fine face or except that this part right here will be like just plain raisin so it will look really strange and oh <laughs> I didn't see you there um, out of the picture um, and when that happened I'm probably going to sell her and get a totally new new Noah um, loses which is not yellow so the only thing I'm not selling her is that she has a scorchous face up um, and I was, I was thinking about selling her body and getting a better, um, more uh, not yellow body, but her face is as yellow as her body, so it will probably look re bleep, 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 very weird. <laughs> and yeah, okay. And I think that's it. So the only thing I really fear is that something happens to the face or face up and that my dolls get yellow because that's not good in my opinion um so yeah i think that's it i have a tired little kitten here look how cute she is she's so adorable 
he's been sleeping on my lap all day, both of them in stacking on each other. It's been very funny. But anyway, thank wait, oh sorry. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.